I'm turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese, I really think so. What's up guys, how's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. Thanks for joining me again here today, it's good to have you guys back. In the last episode, we finished up helping out Ray, and we moved on to doing some missions for Kenji, Asuka's brother. And we're here again today at the Yakuza-owned casino, and I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the next mission for Kenji. Grand Theft Auto! Hoi, I have returned, Kenji-sensei. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and what I... What kind of favor are we talking about here, exactly? A little fucky fucky five dollar? ...and yet requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. It's a good you thing that stealing cars is my specialty. ...and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. You must bring honor to family! Toyota, Sushi, Samurai, Konnichiwa, Matsumoto, Origato, Kawasaki, Haidoken! Okay, now that we got the first two minutes of racism out of the episode, I think we can continue. So we gotta steal some cars, steal some cars, and we got a time limit! Oh, and goody, they actually show where the cars are parked on the map, or at least I hope they're parked and that they aren't currently being driven by anyone. I guess while I'm just driving around here, I can go ahead and take a second and say, Hey there, guys. I hope that your day is going spectacularly. You ever have one of those days where you wake up and you just feel, you know, you feel that feeling that you're going to be straight pimping the whole day? Because that's kind of what I got going on right now, except that kind of ruined it. I just shouldn't have said anything. God damn it. Okay, let's find another car. Actually, it seems like we're already pretty close to one of the cars we're trying to find, though. Uh, yep, it's right up here, so let's just go ahead and grab it. Um, I figure, well, the game gave me, what was it, six minutes? I didn't even really look. I think it was like six minutes. So as long as I can get a car every two minutes, we should be good. So let's just go ahead and grab this thing. Um. Oh, wait a second. No. Okay, wait, I feel like a freaking idiot. There's no car here. This is the garage. What the fuck, though? It doesn't do anything to make that dot look different from any of the other ones. How the hell was I supposed to know that that was leading me to the garage? That's bullshit. Well, okay. Well, actually, looking at it really, really closely, like, if I put my face right up next to the computer monitor, it kind of looks like that dot is a slightly lighter shade of pink, but come on. That's such BS. I can't even believe that. So I just basically wasted a minute and a half. That's great. So I'm going to have to get these cars really freaking fast. I just don't get it. What kind of sense does that make? Why do you even have the garage appear as a marker if you don't have one of the cars? I mean, there's obviously no point in going there yet, so why even identify that on the map? They should have just programmed this mission so that the only three icons on your map are the three cars you need to get, and whenever you get into one of them, then it shows you how to get to the garage. That would be much better. But no, the game just had to trick me, of course. I don't even know why I'm surprised at this point. I really should expect it. At least it seems like we're stealing sports cars, so we should be able to get them to the garage pretty quickly. I swear, though, they could have at least made the garage a different icon color altogether. Like, make the square that represents the garage be blue or green or something, and have the cars be pink. But I think the garage is just a slightly brighter shade of pink. That's the only thing that makes it different. Which, I'm not sitting with my face right next to the computer. I'm sitting kind of far away from it. So there was no way I could tell that without getting up right next to it. And... Go on, take my car. Go ahead, eat it. What the heck, is it not parked in far enough? Okay, now you'll take it. Damn it, I've already used like half my time and I've only gotten one stupid car. Ugh, okay, we can still do this. We can still pull this off. I have faith. If we center our chi and find our happy place in the cosmos, there is still a chance of us completing this mission. You just have to believe in yourself. But okay, it's good that at least there's a car that always spawns there right next to the garage so you can go ahead and hop right into one and get to finding the second car. That's convenient. And okay, it's actually not that far away. It's right over here, so we might still have a shot here. Um, I only need two minutes for each car, so if I go really quickly, I think this is possible. We're not quite screwed yet. Okay, come on, Claude. You can do this. You have to find it in yourself to complete this impossible task. Harness all of your strength and become more than you have ever been before. You're not just Claude anymore. You're Jean-Claude Van Damme, and you're capable of anything. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Uh, the garage is just around the corner here. 
And hopefully that last car is pretty close, because if it is, we got this thing in the bag. Okay, yeah, so... Drop this thing off with two minutes left. That's actually perfect. That's exactly the amount of time I was allotting myself. So we can definitely do this. Concentrate, daniel son. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. You're the best around. For some reason, whenever I have inspirational music playing in the background, I feel like I'm able to get stuff done a lot quicker. Like if I'm studying really hard for a task or if I'm trying to get myself pumped up for something, I'll crank something up like Holy Diver by Dio. That is such a badass song. Anytime I hear that, it just puts me in a good mood. Ride the tiger! You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean! Oh, don't you see what I mean? Gotta get away. Get away! Holy Diver! God, I wish I was born in like the 70s or the 80s. Rest in peace, Dio. You were the man! But alright, seriously, where the hell is this car? I need it so damn desperately right now. Um... Oh god, oh god. Wait, where the heck is that? I don't see a parking lot or anything. Is it like hidden in like a back alley or something? This is gonna suck. Okay, it took me a little more than a minute to get here, so... Well, this car is gonna be faster, so... Oh, just get in it, Claude! What are you just standing in front of the door for? Okay, so we still got a shot at this. This is very much in the realm of doability. Watch me wreck this car on the way over there, like, just completely total it. Oh god, knock on wood. Alright, this is seriously where I just fucking concentrate like my life depends on it. Because otherwise, this will be six minutes of my life that I never get back and that I regret for the rest of eternity. Everything that I've ever done in my life leads up to this moment. Every tear I've ever shed, every battle I've ever fought, this is what it comes down to. Right here, right now, my moment of glory, oh god. 15 seconds, we can do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God, oh God, we gotta go up the ramp. Jesus freaking Christ, why does the thing have to be so hard to get to? Oh my God, floor it, floor it, fucking floor it. Open, 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 get out, get out. Yes, yes, I d What? No, no, what the fuck? Ah! No, why? You asshole, I brought you all three cars, what the fuck? Now, I have to do it all over again, fuck! I have failed, Kenji, I've brought great dishonor to my family! This game is filled with so much bullshit, oh my god! Okay, like seriously, how close was that, guys? The door was closing on the garage, the car was literally inside the garage. For all intents and purposes, it was delivered. The guy had possession of it. The mission failed as the garage door was closing behind me. I can't believe it. Oh god, and now I gotta do it all over again. Okay, well, you know the drill. When shit like this happens, it's time for fast forward mode. Let's try it again. And with nearly two whole minutes left, I have successfully completed the mission, finally! Okay, no, 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 no. 25,000 is not nearly big enough a reward for what I just went through. I nearly had a stroke after failing that mission the first time. The least, the absolute least that Kenji could do to make that up to me is to get me a night in bed with his sister. I'm just saying. I would much rather have that than just a measly $25,000. I really don't need the money. All you can buy in this game are guns and hookers anyway, it doesn't really even matter. 
Ugh, I am giving you one more chance, Kenji, to redeem yourself. So far, you have disappointed me thoroughly. I shall not tolerate any more of your bullshit and shenanigans. This warning is your last, so heed it wisely. And you know, the thing is, anytime I fail a mission, I have no concept of how much time I've actually been playing the game. So I don't even know I'm going to end this episode off. I guess we'll see. But alright, deal, Steel. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. Oh god, please tell me at some point I get to take missions from a Jamaican guy. That would just be awesome. And go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Trust me, I'm so angry right now, nobody is leaving this mission alive. Okay, so what? Uh, go and steal a Yardy car? What the hell is a Yardy? What the hell is a Cholo? I have seriously never heard of that gang before. Is that, like, the Jamaican gang? Because I don't ever remember seeing any Jamaicans at all during this game. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. And this time, there's not even a single marker on my map, so do I just wander around until I find one of their cars? I don't even know what it looks like. I mean, what do Jamaicans stereotypically drive, I guess? I don't even know. Um... The only way I can think of doing this is just running around and stealing cars until I get into one. But I don't even know what area of the town I should be in, or like where in the city I should be. Um, oh shit, whoa, 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 oh god. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not going to need this car anyway, but... Um, you know, I got my iPhone on me. I could always look it up, I guess, if I really had to. Because otherwise this might take forever. Um, oh, oh god, I'm getting shot at too? What the fuck? Okay, um, let me come up with a game plan here. I think what I'm gonna do is just run around and, like, steal cars until I find one that is a gang car, because I honestly don't know what to be looking for, and the game is giving me no help whatsoever. So, um, just however long that takes. So I guess I'll rejoin you guys once I've gotten a hold of a Yardy car, whatever the hell that is. Holy shit, okay, I finally found the thing. Cool. How long did that take me? Um, oh my god. That took me nearly ten minutes to actually get. What the hell? And this just looks like an average car. I never would have thought to grab this one. It doesn't even look like a gang car. I mean, I guess the interior is kind of like leopard printy. I guess that's kind of unique. But seriously, I never would have in a million years thought it was this car. Shit, I don't even know what to do with all that video footage now. At first I was hoping I could just fast forward it, but that's like a good solid 10 minutes of me doing like nothing. I may just cut it out, I don't even know. Well I guess you guys will know because you'll already be watching the video after I edited it, but... I... I gotta think about that, I really don't know what the best thing to do would be. But at least we finally got our Yakuza guy picked up and I guess we can finally go to this meeting with the Colombians. You know, considering that I'm going there with a guy who's dressed like a Yakuza member, they're going to know it's us anyway. I mean, the element of surprise is only going to last so long before they just notice that something's really wrong with this picture. Oh well, hopefully all this prep work actually pays off. I kind of doubt it. Okay, so they haven't discovered me yet. Am I just going to do like a drive-by on them? Oh, and great, I ran over my Yakuza guy. That's just beautiful. Hopefully he doesn't have to survive, because if he does, I'm probably going to fail this mission. And you know, for some reason, I was imagining that there were going to be more of these guys waiting for us. I mean, I could have just as easily, like, I don't know, lobbed a grenade at them. In fact, that's what I'm going to do to get rid of these cars, so... Well, throws a little high there. And, uh, I can't aim for shit with these grenades. It's really hard to judge the arc distance on them. And I just blew up my getaway car, so that's beautiful. Although we are in, like, a parking lot, so I can probably just grab another. Um, but hey, my Yakuza guy lived! How about that? Who would have thought it? 
All right, buddy, go ahead, get in the car. It's very rare that I actually make it through these kinds of missions with any of these guys left intact. Oh god, he's going to take a long time getting in the car, too. Jeez. Hurry your ass up, I got a wad level. And should I assume that we're probably going to be followed back? Um, because we have to make it all the way back to... Must be to Kenji's Casino, right? I don't know, it's kind of weird to me how in some of these missions, Kenji makes you come back to the casino after you're done. But in others, the mission just ends whenever you complete your objective. It's kind of not very consistent that way. And it's not just Kenji, a lot of the characters do that. Sometimes you have to come back to them after the mission's done, but other times you don't. Uh, although, I guess I do have a briefcase, don't I? That was the whole point of this, was to grab that briefcase. Alright, you know what? Just never mind. I completely retract the previous 30 seconds that I just spent talking. Because it makes total sense that you go back to Kenji in this instance. He should give me a sweet bonus for bringing his guy back alive, though. I mean, <laughs> I know he definitely won't. I mean, why would he? But it would be nice. I wonder, can you actually go and play in the casinos in this game? I haven't tried to do that. That was actually a lot of fun for me to do back in San Andreas, because uh, that was actually a really good way to make money really quickly if you played roulette. Or hell, even blackjack for that matter. There are a lot of casino games you could use to get a lot of money in that game. So it'd be kind of cool if you could do the same thing in this one. Although I kind of get the sense that you probably can't. But oh well. Let's go ahead and complete this mission. Kenji's, wow, he has such an ego, he named the casino after himself. I mean, I guess if I owned a casino, I'd probably do that too, but... The Quesadilla Casino sounds a hell of a lot more marketable than the Kenji Casino. But, okay, so, another $25,000. Um, yeah, we definitely need to end off the episode here, because I've been playing for almost 30 minutes here. Although it'll probably be a lot shorter once I've edited it down, but, uh... Yeah, time to wrap things up, guys. So, thank you very much for joining me again here today, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well, in between all the fits of rage, but you got my point. However, if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to subscribe to me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and by subscribing to me, you can stay updated anytime I post new videos to my channel. But in any case, it's been a blast, guys. And until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!